Hi guys. I haven't done much around the flat because mum turned up this morning and I decided to go over to mum's. Um, and I took the camera with me. I don't know what made me do it. I just decided to uh, take the camera with me. Sometimes I wish I had claws so I can do it back to him. Anyway, um, and I'm glad I did because I got some footage of quite a few tractors and machinery harvesting the um, fields of maize around my mum's house. The house was literally right in the middle of it. Because <laughs> um, the field directly opposite was full of maize and the field belonging to my land... To my, ah, I'll try again. My mum's landlord was full of maize and that surrounds the house on the house side. And then you've got the country line down the middle. Anyway, you'll see from the footage, because um, when I've done this segment, I'll um, tack the footage in on the end. <coughs> um, I just thought that'd be something a little interesting, something a bit different, you know. Excuse me, one second. This cat's getting on my nerves now. Um, <laughs> so I don't want his cat hair in my drink. I don't like drinking cat hair. Um, anyway, I went and got my parcel this morning. Um, and I took the models over. You might, yeah, you can see it in the bag. I took the models over to Mum's and me and my little brother built them over there. Um, I've just got one more parcel I'm waiting on. And that is it for now. Uh, yeah. Oh, pardon me. Um... Also, I was looking at Facebook at Mum's because she was asleep, stepdad was up in the loft and um, I had to fix the um, wireless network for the printing. For some reason it just decides it doesn't want to work over the wireless and the only way I found to fix it is to reinstall. There's probably another way to do it but it doesn't take 10 minutes to reinstall it so... Anyway, I was doing that and I just decided while it was installing to go on my Facebook and I noticed someone had posted on the Regenerate North Ocean group that their bike was stolen from their garden last night from a nearby village. Um, probably about halfway between here and my mum's. <coughs> um, and as you know, I think I mentioned it, I've got a couple of uh, mountain bikes in the recycling centre. Uh, at the weekend, a gents one and a ladies one, and albeit the gents one, the frame is rather tatty, because um, the paintwork is pitted. I don't know how it's done, but it has actually pitted. <laughs> a steel frame and the paintwork's all just, all these little just rust dots everywhere, it's weird. But um, the guy was saying how the bike was his daily rider and whatnot, so I offered him that one. <coughs> for free. Um, I said it is going to need some work because the gears don't work. It's rideable because it's stuck in one gear and the brakes work and the tyres have held air but apart from that the gears don't work. Front ones don't want to move for some reason even though the um, drain moves so it's probably a stuck cable or just stiff from lack of use. I have sprayed it with WD-40 and the rear one, the front the um, gear shifter for the rear gears has completely shattered. Typical cheap um, grip shifts. They all do it eventually, especially if you're like me and a couple of friends I've got who are quite heavy handed when you change gears. They don't last five minutes, the cheap shifters. Um, but he said that's fine as long as he can actually pedal at home. So, yeah, he can. Um, it does ride. So that's my good deed. And even if he doesn't really need it, he's got a free bike there for us parts to put on for another bike anyway. Because, um, I don't know, there seems to be a lot of bike thefts around here lately. Because even um, Sainsbury's, where I had my um, Gary Fisher stolen, um, they put a sign on the door saying, Warning, bike thieves operate in this area. Ooh, sorry.
we actually had to give way to an ambulance um, on the way home. We saw it coming towards us on blue lights, <coughs> and I noticed, I said to Mum, it's weird, because it was slowing down. Middle of nowhere, and it was slowing right down when it came to these crossroads, and I didn't think nothing of it. And I'm watching in the side mirror of my side, and I saw it go out of sight as we went round a corner. Next thing I know, I'm looking in the mirror again, literally a few seconds later, and the bloody thing is coming up behind us again with the blue lights on. So, I don't know if they were heading out of town and then got an emergency call, and they were just looking for a safe place to turn around, or if they got stood down from one call to attend another one, a more serious one, which does happen. <coughs> uh... That's why sometimes, sadly, over here in Britain, you can wait for quite a while for an ambulance, especially if it's not considered a um, dire emergency. But uh, to be honest, if I knew I needed like hospital treatment, but I knew it wasn't a dire emergency, then I'd either take myself or get someone to take me. <laughs> I wouldn't waste an ambulance time. But if I was like laying half dead on the floor, for example, then I'd call an ambulance. <coughs> but I'm just not one that likes wasting emergency services time like some people do like the stupid things but anyway was a rant maybe for another video but uh, yeah I decided to um, do the vlog when I got home and then tack the footage that I took today there's even some with the um, garden pond um, over a year later now so it's been in the garden a year and you, you wouldn't believe it's been there a year how well it's all grown in and weathered in and what not you wouldn't believe it's been there a year but it was a year ago we built it from scratch <laughs> so I actually think it looks pretty good we've got no fish in it now well we did have one we think a heron may have spotted the pond and um, pinched all the fish when no one was looking um but her stepdad's gone and bought a net to cover the pond with. <coughs> so, as soon as he's got the net on, we'll restock the pond with fish. Should have done that in the first place, but never mind. We do learn from our mistakes, don't we? Well, I hope to think most of us do. I know I do. Such as when I kept leaving my bike outside Sainsbury's unlocked waiting for Sainsbury's for half an hour, come out and the bike was gone. <laughs> Probably got nicked and broken for parts and the parts sold on eBay and the frame scrapped. Or it was taken to somewhere like the city and sold up there. <coughs> or somewhere else round England, who knows. But, uh, there's no way I'll see it again, but I've got the nice clawed butler out of it, so... <laughs> I still miss the Gary Fisher because that was a lovely bike to ride, but... Well, I've got another nice bike out of it. I've got several bikes, actually. Um, how many have I got now? If I count assembled bikes, um, I've got... one up here. I've got my uh, old Frenchie up here. I've still, got to, uh, still got to take for a test ride. I haven't ridden it yet. I haven't had chance. I've either been busy up here or busy doing other things. Um, like at Mum's. How many have I got in the shed? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm pretty certain I've got seven here. Um, eight if I count the one I'm giving away tomorrow. But I won't count that one because I've given it away. So and two at mum's three at mum's sorry I hear the fire engine air brakes that's what I was listening at but, um, I just realised it's Tuesday so they're probably training and have been diesel up the tender anyway yeah I've got three at mum's so seven, eight, nine that's ten in total I've got plus I've got the Trek frame in the cupboard and the Carrera to do so that's 12. Yeah, because Biggles gave me another Universal Shopper bike, so I've got two now. I've got one at Mum's and one here. 
Um, which I think I said in a previous video. Right? Just throw in a BMX wheel and I can ride it around. Got to slacken the chain off a bit, it's a bit too tight. <coughs> but uh, when I remember and when I get a chance, I'll slacken the chain off a little bit. My shop here's got a buckled wheel though, because one of the spokes snapped. So, Biggles has got another shop that's sitting there with an intact back wheel. He hasn't chopped the hub out yet, so I'm going to see if I can rescue a few spokes out of that one. Um, preferably from both sides of the wheel, because uh, I can't remember which side has broken on mine. And they're different lengths. So I'll grab a handful of various lengths and hopefully I'll get one to fit mine and straighten the wheel up. Because um, it's not very comfortable to ride. <laughs> That's one reason I haven't been um, riding up. Because sometimes I just like to jump on it, you know, just for a laugh and cruise to the shops on it. <clears throat> Just because that's the first one on the pile. Um, oh, and I've just remembered I've got another two frames down in the shed as well. I've got the GT and I've got a rally racing frame down there, which I actually rescued off the um, scrap pile. Um, it's just, it's a similar colour to the hybrid I built out of a racing frame. Similar colour to that frame. So, yeah, I haven't decided if I'm going to make that into a, another road bike or another hybrid bike. I haven't decided yet. But I've got all the wheels for it. Um, I do believe the wheel, actually I can't remember, I've got two front wheels sitting in the hall there, and I can't remember if they're 27s or 27, 700s, which I think are both the same size actually, or um, 26s. <coughs> I'll uh, have to have a look. Uh, yeah, I've got an Ellswick at Mums. It's a jet old three speed like this, but it's an Ellswick. I think it's a little bit older. In fact, I'll show you the um, photos. So I started another um, bollocks, another group for cycling this time, and I've just clicked on the wrong one. Where is it? All things bicycle related. I might actually change the title of that. Um, anyway, there's my little shopper bike. It's only an old universal, it's nothing special. Um, it's still got the three speed shifter attached, I've still got to take that off. Not sure what I'll do with that, I might keep the cable, or I might, actually I suppose keeping the cable as a spare wouldn't be such a bad thing. Um, and here's a pile of them. <laughs> you can see the um, Ellswick right on the top here, with a set of big old Sturmey Archer lights on it. Meant to be ran from a dynamo hub, but I've got a dynamo attached to it instead. Uh, and there's the Blue Ladies mountain bike I've got under there. Um, and the black mountain bike you can see here is the one I've just given away. Well, I'm only losing four quid by giving it away, so I'm helping someone out, so I'm not bothered. And that cost me eight pounds for the two mountain bikes there, so I'll just uh, go with the tip again when I've got some change and see if I can find some more to play with. And get accused of fucking working. But I think any I get from the tip I will probably do at Mum's and sell them there. I don't need, don't need any more pricks falsely accusing me of anything again. Um, but yeah, that should get him out of a pickle for a little while anyway. He said he's got frames in the garden, so if he really wanted to, he could just take that apart for parts and build one of the other frames up, a better frame. Because he said the one he got nicked was um, one he built himself. It actually looked quite nice. Parts looked a bit rusty here and there, but other than that, it did look like a good job. Um, well, that reminds me, the bottom bracket is a smidge loose on this Ellswick. But I barely use it anyway, and it's only used when I'm bored at Mum's. I might just go for a ride up the lane. Um, and it's there in case anyone 
you know, the car breaks down and they have to cycle down to the shop or something, they've got they've got something there that someone can jump on and use. That's one of the other reasons I uh, keep that at Mum's. Because I can't see anyone doing that on my little shop. <laughs> Especially Mum. But even Mum prefers these old three-speed bikes. I don't know what it is. There's just something that I like about how they feel to ride. What else have I got? There's the Carrera. There's the Apollo. No. There's the GT. I took the photo when it's dark, so it's not showing up very well. Yeah, it's um the frame itself has got several paint chips along here. Um, and several other chips, but I could still build it into a half decent bike. Trailer bike at least, which is what I want to do when I get a chance. I've got two or three sets of these triple clamp forks. I'm gonna put a pair of those in. Reason being they're heavy and sometimes depending how you load your trailer it can tilt the front end up, so a bit of extra weight on the front wouldn't go amiss. <laughs> it wouldn't. <laughs> it would actually probably be a help more than anything. So when I get a chance, I am going to put this together, and if I can find a decent disc rotor, I'll put a front disc brake on it just to make sure I've got decent brakes. I can't put a disc brake on the rear because uh, there ain't no mount, but and I don't have a rear wheel with a mount for it either. But I do have calipers and rotors and wheels for the front, so that'll be what I'll do with that one. Here's that one. An 80s rally. I think it's 80s anyway. That's before I changed the wheels in it, because um, the spokes in the back wheel especially were rather weak. But I did replace several. I could just re-spoke the whole wheel if I wanted to, because I've still got the wheels. I kept them just in case, because the wheels I've got in there at the minute are, um, well, I think they've had it because the brakes don't work. They worked on these rims, but they don't work on the new rims, so I'm guessing the rims are worn. Here's my Claude. My good old Claude Butler. It's got a lot of added extras on it now, such as front and rear mud guards, better lights, reflectors. I took that photo once I'd um, actually completed it. Here's the hybrid. I'm sure I did a video on that. But the other frame I got is a lighter shade of this sort of bronzy colour. It's a lighter shade of it. But uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that one yet. Here's the stonefly. Good old stonefly. Yeah, and that's the French one. That's just a random one I found on Google. I've got loads of photos in my Facebook of um, bikes I've had in the past and sold on or broke for parts or whatever I decided to do with them. Because usually I get bored. I get a bike because I like it. Or I keep it because I like it. And then I get offered something else, and I end up liking that one more, so I sell the previous one. Especially to, um, you know, keep room outside in the shed, because I don't have a lot of room here at all. I haven't really got that much room at Mum's, to be honest. Um, and I've got three bikes outside the workshop, as it is, and there's two inside, but the two inside aren't mine. They're um, my stepdad's. Well, one's my stepdad's, which is an old Royal Enfield, I think, if I remember correctly. That's an old three-speed bike, a very old one. Um, and then there's a Trek in there, hybrid, which is which my stepdad bought from my brother, which has barely been used. So, um, yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's a selection of bikes there, should anyone want one. <sighs> So yeah, I'm going to end the video here because I've got those other clips to put on the um, end of this. So uh, I'm going to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the following clips. 
even if they're, they're not done on the best of uh, cameras. And you will probably see if the camera picked it up, one of the tractor drivers put his thumb up as he drives past. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoy it, and um, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you like the video. Bye. <laughs>